One solution to prevent wildfires in the West? More fires. Sounds counterintuitive, right? It's one of the strongest solutions out there, but history doesn't make it easy to do. Controlled fire or prescribed fire is the method of burning certain land to reduce wildfire hazards. This method was developed by Native Americans thousands of years ago. In California, natives like the North Fork Mono tribe used fire as a tool for clearing land for farming, increased production of bushes and berries, herd wildlife during hunts, and reduced the fuel load that could cause devastating wildfires. It was these low-intensity fires called cultural burnings that built much of California's forests, not lightning as is commonly believed. Without controlled burns, forests would have become overgrown and unmanageable. Overgrown forests create a lot of fuel in the form of dry or dead plants. As European colonization grew in California, native tribes were banned from engaging in cultural burning. And over time, state and federal authorities focused on quickly extinguishing any wildfires. For example, the U.S. Forest Service infamous 10 a.m. policy said that any fires that occurred must be put out by 10 a.m. the next day. This limit on fires did little to reduce the fuel that was growing on the forest floor. And even with these policies, California still has fuel loads waiting to be burned from centuries ago, making prescribed burning far more tedious and expensive than previously thought. As home developments increase in and near forest lands, there's little incentive for more prescribed fires at the risk of them becoming uncontrollable, though study shows that happens less than 1 100th percent of the time. Climate change is also making fires in the West bigger and longer lasting. Still, the thousand-year-old tradition of prescribed burning remains one of the strongest solutions to preventing future wildfires. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.